everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Katie and I am the owner of the brand Simply Casey, where I like to specialise in travel related art prints and stationery. And on this channel, I like to share with you my small business journey and my process as an artist. If that sounds good to you, then please do like, comment and subscribe on this YouTube channel as it just helps me to know that I'm creating the content that you really enjoy. So let's get on with the vlog. So today is actually Tuesday. And if you've probably watched a few of my vlogs, you'll know that I'm really trying hard to finish off my Amsterdam collection. And I am kind of nearly there now, which I'm really excited about. I just need to finish a couple more prints. So this week, I really want to focus on finishing off the prints and having like a really good collection that all sits well together and something that I'm really happy to then launch. So I'll just show you the sketch now if you've not seen it already. Let me just get my iPad. So hopefully you're going to be able to see that but that's the sketch that I created and it's based on nine streets in Amsterdam and it's that that's like a shopping district. So that is the print that I want to start working on first this week. So I'm going to try really hard. As I just showed you there, I always start off with a sketch. I normally do some research as well in my sketchbook, which I showed you in the last vlog. So if you've not checked that out, then please do go and watch that video before you watch this one. But yeah, I do a sketch from my research first, and then I like to sort of think about the colours next and decide on the kind of colours that I want to go for, which I already know because I've got a colour theme. And once I've done that, I then get started with the illustration. And that obviously, well, I get started with putting the colour in, but I always see that as being the main part of the illustration is the actual putting the colour and textures and design into the art piece. And that's the bit I actually personally find the most exciting. So let's get on with it. Okay, so I've probably received the best parcel ever. Here it is, and I'm gonna do a live unboxing with you guys. So fingers crossed this product has turned out how I hoped it was gonna turn out, because if it doesn't, then you're gonna see my live reaction. Let's go. Okay, well I can see a little bit now. I just wanted to do a building in this video due to me taking so long to Here we go. Oh my God. gorgeous oh it's printed so well oh, i absolutely love it if you guys can't tell it is a, well you can't see it is a screen printed tote bag uh, using the natural tote bags which i decided to end up using again in the end because they are my favorite style of tote bag and i am so chuffed with that i honestly i can't explain how pleased i am with how it looks I think I think it's kind of unisex as well. Like, I think a girl or a boy could have this tote bag. I feel like it's not too pretty. It's kind of like in the middle. I feel like I feel like my boyfriend Scott will probably be wanting one of these. I can't lie. <laughs> yeah. So because I've received that, I'm like I need to get this collection launched because I've got the pin, I've got the mug, and I've got the bag. I've nearly got the three prints finished. I wanted to do a fourth, which. I might still be able to do next week. I mean, why not give yourself even more things to do if you've got already a long list? Might as well add to it. Does anyone else do that? Because I seriously do that all the time. This week, I'm literally like, I need to launch this collection because I'm going on holiday next Sunday and I don't want to be thinking about launching the collection when I get back. I want it to be launched and done so I can enjoy my holiday. <laughs> So this vlog is now probably going to become way more chaotic because I'm going to have way more things that I need to get done. But yeah, I'm so pleased with that. Can't wait to take photographs. I feel like I look cute with this outfit. <laughs> Bit of a side side thing, but 
yeah I feel like the black and white stripes with the dungaree dress maybe this is the photo maybe this is like the look i'll take the photos with what do you think i was saying cute not cute cute not cute i feel really hyperactive i'm not gonna lie but yeah <laughs> so it's time for me to get on with those prints and get them finished it is very messy in here today oh my gosh <laughs> It looks crazy, but this morning what I want to do is try and get all of my product photography done of my pin, tote bag and my mug this morning. So then I've got the photos ready to post on Instagram and photos ready to make shop listings out of. So what I'm currently doing, I'm deciding what colour background I'm going to do the pin. So I'm taking inspiration from my Paris photography of the Paris pin that I did because I think that was dead successful. Just think it came out really nice and I want to go for that kind of vibe with this pin because I think it helped to sell it. And I think I'm liking this dark red mount board that I've actually got. I think it kind of, especially with the t with this option, I think it really sort of shows off the whole design whereas like on the lighter background i don't know i kind of do like the blue but i don't know if it gets a little bit lost with the blue and then oh <laughs> doing it again <laughs> i'm so clumsy and then the yellow maybe kind of like the yellow because that's like whoa massive pop and it kind of makes this bit of mustardy yellow pop i actually do like the yellow oh it's such a hard decision I like the dark, but I do like the yellow. Maybe I'll do a mix of the dark and the yellow and we'll go from there. I think the yellow is working best for me right now. So yeah, I'm going to set this up anyway. So I've got lights literally just chilling everywhere. <laughs> and then I've got my tripod and then I'm also using Scott's camera because it's got a, le I, I bought a lens for it that's like really zooms in, which is great for pins because iPhone cameras are not great for pins. They don't show up the details, whereas this camera really does. So I'm going to set that up now. And I completely forgot to charge my camera batteries. So I'm having to wait for that. Just edited my photos that I took yesterday of my products. And I thought I'd just come on and share with you a quick little tip. So if you aren't Photoshop, if you're editing photos, if you go on to this little tool here, a spot healing brush and then if you've got any marks like I've got this mark here that's like really annoys me if you just go over it it just disappears and then the photo just looks so fresh and new and clean and I love it that's just a quick tip <laughs> I'm currently in the process of doing my pins which I have actually shown you um shown you guys before um how I do my pins but I thought I'll show you again just in case I've got a new people I'll just do a quick little roundup but this is how the pins are looking with the backing paper which I think they look so cute I'm so pleased with them I think, the, I think the backing paper just finishes it off and I got these done by printed.com and they're like the finish of them is just so nice it's like a velvety finish which I think really finishes them off and I'm just storing them in one of my crates so I literally just get one of the pins and they all come packed in these little plastic sort of packing things which is really useful because it actually makes it so they are really secure which I really do like um so what I do is unwrap that I'll, I'll just set up the camera because it make it easier for me as I was saying I just unwrap this there you go so I've unwrapped the pin and then I get my little contraption that I got off Etsy and I put it onto the thing push down and it takes the backs off so it kind of saves your fingernails loads and then I just punch this through and then I add the pins at the back I haven't actually got any cellophane wallets completely forgot to order some so I've just ordered some now um, but what I would normally do is then put them in the plastic wallet but I don't have that so I'm literally just putting it in my little crate and making it look cute I feel like a proper shop owner when I'm doing this. It's like, feels very legit. 
not that I wasn't legit before, but this makes me feel legit packing it in like a crate. I don't know why. <laughs> and just like that, I'm done. So I've packed, well, I've not packed, but I've put together about 30 of them just so they're ready for me to just pick up and pack for orders. But yeah, that's all done. Another job done for my product launch. Woohoo! It's actually the following week now and I'm still working on this um, collection launch. Um, it's kind of taken me a long time and I was kind of reflecting on the Amsterdam pin pictures that I take like had taken last week and I just wasn't vibing with all of them like the ones I'll show you pictures like the ones where they show my hand and show like um like have my like finger and stuff in them I just wasn't a hundred percent on them and I wasn't a hundred percent happy and I was like trying to edit the background colours to see if it was the background colour that I wasn't happy with or I just feel like the photos just didn't come out as well as what I was hoping them to come out. So this morning's task is to get all of those, um, to get retake those pins. And I was doing some sort of like market research and looking at what other Etsy sellers do, which I love doing, you know, like it's, I think it's really good to actually look at what other people do and how they approach photography and stuff and maybe what you can learn from them. And I did notice a couple of people actually use like notebooks and stuff um, to take the pins. So they'll put the pin on top of the notebook and it kind of adds a bit of a layer of like texture or a bit of movement instead of it just being on like a flat piece of colour. Because I think being on a flat piece of colour, it kind of makes it a little bit a little bit boring maybe and maybe that's what it was or like I just needed something different in the background to detract from the pin or maybe help to focus on the pin I'm not sure I'm not like a photography expert but yeah I want to try out and do some new photography that I know I'm 100% happy with because I think sometimes like I kind of rush things and then I'll put out things that I'm not 100% happy with just because I wanted to get it finished when actually you should probably spend like the time actually being happy with what you've created and you know being pleased with how it's turned out not painted nails painted nails i literally just painted those two because that's all i wanted but i think i've realized what i wasn't liking i think it's because there was like no background so i've just opened up this planner page and i'm taking photos of the pin on the planner page and i'm really liking the look of it so i think the problem was the plain background so i'll insert some photos of these pictures and then you'll have to let me know in the video which ones you prefer and then i've actually been like launching the collection over the bank holiday weekend and i feel like maybe launching a collection during bank holiday is not the best idea because i think a lot of people are like not on social media like they're doing family related stuff or think social things so I think I've kind of learned maybe don't try and launch something during bank holiday weekend like the week before maybe wait a week after because I've noticed like engagement wise has been a little bit lower than what I was expecting and when I've looked back at my social media content in the past I've always had a bit of a dip during bank holidays like UK bank holidays um, so I think in the future I might not try and launch like during that time period but I've learned that for now I knew I had to get it out before I go away on holiday so it was either that or you know don't do it but if you are interested in purchasing any of the products that I've shown you they will all be live this Thursday at 6 p.m on my website so if you do want to check them out then please do I'll leave a link in the description below but that was my little shameless little plug there I have one last illustration so yeah I did end up giving myself for illustrations to do for this this project i just had this idea in my mind and i kind of just really needed to do it and i didn't want to not do it um so i'll just show you now so when i was doing my research i kind of found out that in amsterdam they have like this tulip festival thing which i think is really really cool and i really like the sound of it and it's like a flower it's like a whole flower market kind of festival and I really wanted to recreate recreate something based on that because I think moving forward with my sort of city based artwork I kind of want to find more things 
about the actual place and like not just do landmarks maybe do events and festivals and sort of try and show the personality of the place and not just focus on like i say doing the landmark itself i'll show you the version um where i did i did do a little bit of work on it yesterday only a little bit though um but as you can see it doesn't really look like much right now um but it's i've got like a greenhouse here which is gonna have all plants and like flowers and herbs and stuff in which i think is really cute and then this bit here is just obviously going to be amsterdam like the buildings and everything and i think it's going to make a really nice final print because it's a little bit different and i think it doesn't scream amsterdam which is kind of what i wanted to achieve with this piece and i just kind of wanted to do one last illustration that i felt really inspired to create and share with you guys i'm gonna get that one finished hopefully by maybe tomorrow evening so then i can do a little video or a tiktok based on it so i am gonna end this vlog here though because i want to make sure that it's up this week so i just want to say thank you so much to all of my new subscribers i've had quite a few this past week or so so hello if you're new here thank you so much for joining me and hopefully you enjoyed this video so you will give it a like and other than that i hope you have a fantastic week and i will see you again next time